Henry Clay, 1842, by John Neagle. His admirers called him Gallant Harry, and his impetuous charm made him quite possibly the most beloved politician of his generation. But the real legacy of Kentucky's Henry Clay was his unsitting devotion in the House of Representatives and later in the Senate to maintain a strong American Union. In the early 1830s, as southern states threatened to nullify federal authority over the tariff bill that would have hurt plantation economies, Clay set aside his own preference for the new law to orchestrate a compromise. In 1850, with the North and South on the verge of armed conflict over the extension of slavery into new Western territories, Clay again stepped in with proposals that, temporarily at least, satisfied both sections. This last act of his career earned him his title of Great Pacificator.